All right, we got another set of chips here. This time we've got the Lay's Fried Pickle with Ranch Midwest inspired chips. We're in the Midwest here, but I didn't think these were too special, but apparently they are. So let's try them right now. Okay, so apparently this is part of a flavor that hits home line. And this is the Midwest inspired fried pickles with ranch. And apparently it's a Midwest thing to me. It's pretty standard side. Get your fried pickles and they give you a little dippy ranchy cup here. Um, so you got me. If you're over on the coast and you've never heard of pickle chips, well then, you know, come on, try them. They're good. Um, but I looked online to see what are the other flavors. I did only, only saw these, or so I thought. Uh, so yeah, you got the Midwest, these guys here. Um, <clears throat> the East Coast is a BLT sandwich. And I've, how many times has there been like a, a BLT type bacon burger chips? Like that's okay. Um, and then the West Coast is a crispy taco. I think we've had some variation of like street taco or uh, food truck taco chips. Um, they always taste like your old Ortega this like you know white person taco Tuesday uh, flavoring and then uh, kettle cooked lime and cracked pepper I saw those at the store <clears throat> I didn't think they were that special um, but there is like a little hometown flavor on it but it doesn't say that it is uh, from any specific it says Santa Fe but they didn't put like a region on it. it just says lime and cracked pepper so I guess it's another one here but today we're just trying pickle chips <clears throat> with ranch so you know if you can get dill chips it's like a regular flavor now so i wonder if it's any different or if they just sprinkled in the little like ranch package you're gonna make dressing or whatever out of so it's just a pickled chip with ranch flavoring on it that's my guess Woo -hoo -hoo! just pickle pickle smell actually you know what both like it Pickle just reached up and punched me, but I do smell already like ranch flavoring on there too. Now it doesn't really look like it. It is just like a, that, hey, we focused for once, yeah, yeah. So I don't know what the black speckles are supposed to be. Um, but whoop, whoop, whoop. Let's try them. They're fighting each other here. The two flavors are kind of canceling each other out. Like you initially you taste the start of the pickle pretty, pretty quickly. And then the ranch comes in, but again, that's like a creaminess. Um, I guess like the real thing, if you were to put a pickle in your mouth, it tastes like a pickle, you dip it in ranch and kind of melts it out. Just like I guess ranch on a hot wing or something. Pickle. And then the ranch comes in. Try one more. Pickle. Ranch. So I guess, how else could they have done it, I guess, right? You know, it's literally what it is. A pickle. Um, it's just not, I was surprised that it wasn't more pickly because I think you can. Um, what was it like? I think Pringles came out with like extreme Pringles like pickles. And I don't know if that was just like some chemical monstrosity. It tasted like a standard dill pickle, but then there was like some sour extreme stuff they just put on it that just like ate your tongue or something. Like it just took whatever it was and like cranked it up to 11. Um, it just like hurt yourself. It's like the pickle chip equivalent of like pineapple, how it eats you. Um, these are good as their own thing. Do they make ranch chips? I don't know if they do. They certainly make pickle chips. So if you're coming here for the pickle, you know, this is still good. Um, if the pickle chips are too intense for you, definitely try these because these are like, you get that hint of pickle, then it kind of goes away. And then there's a ranch. I mean, now that I smell it, it definitely smells more like ranch than anything else. 
Um, so if you don't want to be dipping your chips in ranch, I guess there's like dip, chips and dip, it's a thing. Um, but that's like sour cream and stuff, but you do your own stuff here. So, if, but if you only got $3 on you and you need both, you can't just go get a jar of pickles or something. Try these, they're pretty good. Again, they're, it takes two things, kind of halves them off, mushes them together. So you don't get that intense pickle. You don't get too much ranch. This isn't like the weird Hidden Valley ice cream that um, really tasted like ranch, but it was not something you want to be tasting in ice cream form. Uh, so this is kind of the best of both. So try it out. It's kind of weird. It's uh, not too pickly. So if you're kind of like, you need to play it safe, this is good here. It's a good try. Um, again, I guess maybe I'll try to get the other ones all seem kind of underwhelming, like BLT, taco, how many times can you do that? Um, but this one was a little unique, I guess. So I'll try that out. Maybe I'll get the lime and cracked pepper, but that just seems kind of like sprinkle some pepper on a lime chip. They have those too. Uh, but either way, these are good. Try them out. Fried pickles with ranch, especially if you're not in the Midwest. We got these all over the place. So, you know, come on over, come get some and uh, try them yourself. Thanks for watching. I'll see you soon.